Okay, so cooking with Mavis again, Mark Davis, Mavis. Ah, so today we're going to do a something different. I've not done this before, so we're going to have kebab Z -Z with fresh garlic, and we're going to use harissa rub, herbs of Provence. Anyway, you'll see as we're going along, but also I'm going to make the pita bread. I think they use it pita bread, they call it. Uh, or whatever, your patty bread, I don't know what it is anyway. So we're going to make that out of flour and yoghurt. So we're going to have a go at doing that. So if you want to come along with me and uh, I'll show you how we're progressing. All right, four cloves of garlic, that's to start with. Let's just get him open. grams of mince, roughly chopped garlic, mix all that together in a minute, don't worry this is not based on um, little chef or whatever it's called or master chef okay and then we're going to add some herbs of Provence which we love and I'm also going to put some of these in the um, the bread. Okay, Cornish sea salt. Some harissa rub. You can put whatever you want in. You're eating it. <laughs> well, I am anyway. You're not. Uh, what else? All oh, right, here we go. I'm going to put a little bit of. Mix all this in in a minute. Mix all this in. Jerk seasoning. So we're going to make it into four. Don't need a knife really, but looks professional, doesn't it? There we go. One, two, three, four. And then roll about into kebab style sausage meat. Oh, the sun's very beautiful. Yep, right. We're going to cook these on a skillet. There we go. Oop. Just going to use a standard camping cooker. Go system one. A little bit of oil. Let that get hot. Right, just get that one. I just want to show you this. Look at this. <laughs> October the 2nd. Absolutely beautiful day. Fantastic day for having a bit of a, a kebab in the woods. Right. Next in a minute, we're going to be doing the. I don't know, is it. Kebabs and whatever. So let this get warm. And then we'll start cooking these off. properly 
There we go. Beautiful sound. So, why is that cooking? Let's get on with the flour. So we need 40, 500 grams, just under, of self-raising flour. Okay, so we need the bread. I'm going to just let it stand for a little bit. And then I'm going to need a little bit more. And then I'm going to roll them out. What with? I haven't got a ruddy clue. Probably my hands. Okay, the babs are doing beautifully. There we go. We don't need any more yogurt. Uh, what am I going to put in with those? Well, I'm going to put some... Oh, I'll tell you what I'm going to do with these. I'm going to mix in some thyme with these. Now, you probably guess with this video, I'm making up as I go along. That's the best way. But I'll get some thyme. So, I don't have a rolling pin, but I'm improvising by using a gas canister. There we go. Let's pop him on. <laughs> oh, you missed that. Look at that. I'll do the next one for you in a second. I don't really want any fat on it to be honest with you, so and these are nearly done. So very quick meal. Actually they are done. to rise a little bit. Salsa sauce to go with it and some chili. So I'm going to put that right now. Very easy to make. Very very simple recipe. These lettuce leaves are actually scooped ready for the kebab. You know what I mean? I'm gonna have two on. Do you want two leaves or one? Just one for me. Yeah. There we go. Yep. Okay, and um oh, sorry. What do you think? Hopefully the garlic's cooked. It should be all cooked. It's been going on long. Oh yes, please look at that. Oh, looks nice. Do you want tomato? There's tomato in this, but yeah, go on. What's up to you? You want a bit? I think it's nice, very good. It's nice, not very good at all. Really? No. It looks good. 
Uh, it's not very good, and he's sharpening. Uh, I'm gonna get a little bit of. You still filming? One of my favourites. It's not gonna fit on the bed. Do you want some of this? No. I'll try it as it is, thank you. All right. Homegrown tomato. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let me try it. Yeah. You want to towards yourself? Yep. Here we go. All right. I don't know if you can see me. Oops, sorry. Right, we'll give this a go. So this is a nice birdy one. <laughs> Dude, it's too big. What do you think? Nice. That is absolutely... I keep saying every time I cook something. The bread, excuse me. That's all right, isn't it? Nice. The bread you can taste the thyme in, and the kebab is fully cooked all the way through. Look. Okay. If you enjoyed that video, give it a thumbs up and a like. It'd be great. And um, oh no no notification over this side and the bell. If you could ring that out, would be great. And um, we'll catch you next one. How'd you like it? Lovely. Lovely. All right. Take care. See you soon. I think it was all over my chops, but you've got to try this. Honestly, it is. It's turned plain old mince into a beautiful gourmet meal. <laughs> Whatever that means. I don't actually know what that means. Anyway, there you go. Just thought I'd give you. And it's hot. You've got the jerk seasoning coming through, and the chili and the harissa rub. Got to give it a go, folks. Got to give it a go. Top.